So 2012 was a great year for the Ascals. Uh, once again, they're the most improved country in the world in ELO ratings. Back to back years, it's a fantastic achievement. Um, let, let's go to that first of all. What can we be thankful for for the year that's gone? Uh, looking back for the national team, how has that affected football in the Philippines, Simon? Uh, well, obviously, earlier on in the year there was the uh, the Challenge Cup, mm. and uh, they did fantastically yeah. to uh, progress through the group, which everyone was surprised with uh, with that, and make the semi-finals. And uh, yeah, it gave more um, you know more pride to the country, and yeah. they really excelled in that competition. I think it just gave us more recognition. Uh, both domestically with people watching and then obviously across Asia so uh, it was a great achievement there and then after that later on in the year in the uh, in the Suzuki Cup again making the semi-finals and just uh, being edged out by the one goal loss so uh, yeah. I think like the rankings show I mean football's a results business so the rankings show how well we did and uh, making the semi-finals in both them competitions was a great achievement. And Mike, what do you think was the, the best achievement of the year or the biggest improvement? It doesn't have to necessarily be in, in the competition, but what did you see with the team? I think um, getting, getting to the semi-final of the uh, Suzuki Cup again, that's a great achievement. Um, improvement in the team, I think that um, they've definitely come a long way, mm. even um, as, a, as a team as well, you can see that performances on the pitch are a lot better, they, the chemistry is a lot better, so um, something must be going right. Uh, hopefully 2013 Challenge Cup is the next competition, is it? In yeah, the qualifiers. Yeah, so the qualifiers, so hopefully progress through there and, um, and have a strong year for the Ascals, hopefully. Mm. And Miko, how about yourself? Um, looking back at the year, what was the, the best thing about the Ascals this time? Um, I think given that the Ascals is one of the most influential um, group of people here in the country, mm. I'm thankful that um, they gave us another sport to look at, not just basketball. We had football now. We have football now yeah. to look at now. So I think that's uh, I'm more, I'm thankful for that. Yeah. And uh, I'm a little hesitant to ask now, given that we were speaking off camera, and uh, I think the boys have already cooked something up. Um, so looking for the year ahead, 2013. Uh, as you say, we've got the challenge uh, cup qualifiers up next against Turkmenistan, Cambodia, and I think Brunei. Um, there's uh, a lot of things going on with the Malditas as well. They've got World Cup qualifiers coming up. Um, what would you guys wish for the Ascals? What are your wishes for the Ascals in 2013? I'll go with Mark first. Of course, I mean. Yeah. I've, uh, always, I've always said that I want them to get through to the Challenge Cup. <laughs> yeah, all right, all right. So. <laughs> okay, well, obviously, like you were saying off camera, we had a little <laughs> uh, debate there, but um, <laughs> obviously there's the, the um, decision whether Coach Weiss will still be in charge or not, which is... a uh, no, he needs to be realistic. His contract is up, and uh, there's a uh, debate whether he will continue as coach, or I guess we'll know in the next few weeks if mm. he will um, put pen to paper for a new contract. So that's a big decision for them to make. Obviously, there was a bit of controversy in the media with uh, President Araneta of the PFF. Um, I read part of his article, so that uh, remains to be seen whether he will continue to bring this team forward. So. Mm. Once the coach has been put in place and uh, whether he stays or a new one comes in, I think it's a big decision. And uh, you know how Philippine football progresses, they need to make the right decision to see um, where we go from here. Mm. And Miko, uh, looking to, to the year, what do you think the, the progress needs to be? Because we've had two years of great progress, great growth within the squad with the results and reputation within the region. Um, what do the Ascals, uh, what do you wish for the team this year to, to continue that? Um, I wish for them to, uh, to, to, play, to play as a team more. Because I think, I think Ascals is good, as a, uh, their core is really, really good. Mm. And given that we have more competitions, as, uh, as we have mentioned, the PFF, Smart Nationals, and then the UFL, um, I think more players are going to be interested in, interested in playing for, for the Ascals. And, and with new players coming in, I, th I, I wish for them to, um, even though that there will be, um, I guess, more politics, probably, <laughs> that, that's going to be going around the team, I think, I, I wish for them to play still as a team yeah. and continue that and, win and, and finish, it with, finish it with a trophy at the end. Yeah, that would be great to, to see the, them go through with that. They got a good few qualifiers, a good chance to build on that and, uh, and get towards those major trophies. Yeah. Um, and so, what you, uh, for myself at least, what I, I'd love to see in, in 2013 is when we were looking back from 2012, the, the back end of that, the team became very conservative. They scored four goals in the Suzuki Cup, 
one in against Singapore, so there's uh, four, six, I think seven goals in eight games. Mm -hmm. And before then, like the Challenge Cup, very attractive team, Phil Youngersman was the top scorer. You had a, a good fluid system, they conceded a few more goals, but they scored a lot more. Mm -hmm. I'd like to see a lot more attackive play, a lot more trusted within that, that squad to go out and get the result for themselves. Obviously, um, Coach Vice has got a great record with how the team's done so far under him. Uh, they have won almost half of their games lost less than I think a quarter. So they've done really well in the improvement. It'd just be nice to see more attackive play, more goals like that. That would bring on a, a lot more fans as well. Of course. Um, also, with yeah, with, regarding the, the, the wishes for the ASCAL, see it's a national team, you both have played for the national team. Uh, how do you guys, uh, maybe your wish this year, would it be to get back onto the ASCALs? Is that something you really hope for? Is it something you're working for this year or in the future? That's a no-brainer, of course. We'd absolutely love to be back representing the country. Uh, I've played now 13 or 14 caps for the country, both domestically and abroad, and yeah. it's uh, the highlight of my career playing for for the Ascals. And uh, yeah, every time I'm on the pitch, it's just a great buzz to play for your country and you know televise on TV and in front of the home fans and like in Bacolod or in uh, in uh, Rizal. So uh, definitely would love to get back involved, whether it's under. Coach Weiss or a new coach, but uh, yeah, one day hopefully next year or two. But we'll see. Just work hard at Moralco. Work hard at Moralco and see what we can do. He's back in the squad anyway on the list or whatever. Uh, well, I said last time I come on the show, uh, like Simon said, it's always a great honour to be in the squad or if you're going to play. All I can do is just work hard. So I'm same as Simon, work hard for Moralco. If we get picked, we get picked. If not, we just work even harder. So um, anyone's dream. Footballers represent the country, whether it, whether you're playing for any other country. Like, that's, like Simon said, the highlight of your career mm. playing for your is playing for your country. So yeah, of course. And uh, it's also a Sea Games year. So uh, yeah. would you be interested in uh, going back with the the Sea Games team? Yeah, I'd love to go. I'd love to go. I'd love to go. You're too old now, aren't you? They changed my passport. They did a little <laughs> editing. But no, yeah. Uh, I'm too old for that one, so I missed out on the uh, on the Sea Games a few years ago. There was a bit of controversy there. I thought I would be involved, and then uh, last minute wasn't involved. Oh, so, uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm overage by oh, one year, so uh, I missed that one. Missed the boat there. I uh, but Miko, you're trying out. I just heard. Yeah, Is that right? Jeffrey Jeffrey Christians. He just told me about it, and I was like, yeah, sure, why not? Because we were part of the under 22s last summer, uh, okay. and then he was like, so Miko, are you ready for under 23s? I was like, ah. Oh. If the coach would want me, then yeah, of course. I heard that um, they're bringing in a new coach yeah. for the twenty. Like Vice, if Vice uh, is still okay. here, yeah, it won't be Vice for the twenty. They're bringing a separate coach. So. I, yeah. I heard it was um, Sarius will manage the team. Sarius, the club Sarius. Oh, I was wondering if it was like a producer. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> well, wow, that's a, no, that's a big step up there. First, uh, <laughs> first thing first in professional in management. Yeah. 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 Um, that'd be interesting to see because uh, they obviously they built a very good team over there. They played against the big UFL clubs. So that'd be good to see. So uh, everyone out there on Twitter, uh, come tweet us. Uh, let us know what your wish for the Ascals is this year, whether it's in the competition with the team or even the coach. As uh, I think Simon and Mark have some opinions about on that one. Or us uh, so back in. <laughs> or us back in. Uh, so uh, let us know. Follow us at, at FTW Sports. <laughs> Let's get to a give poll going. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> get a poll going. Who they want back in? <laughs> and, uh, okay. Uh, tweet us uh, if you want. Um, if you want Gre Simon Greatwich back in the team, tweet <laughs> Simon Greatwich for Ascals. If you want Mark Hartman back in, hashtag Mark Hartman for Ascals, and we'll see which one gets the most tweets. Uh, whoever gets the most, they can go back into the team. Yeah, it's official. <laughs> FTW Sports. <laughs>